What's up, Maastricht? Welcome back to the seventh season of Breaking Mass. We're really excited to be your new host for the seventh season. I'm Zoe Fanny. And I'm Tristan Murph. And this is episode one with the theme, Welcome to Maastricht. So sit back, relax, and get excited. Because this is Breaking, Breaking Mass. Mass. So coming up in this episode, there's UM Cheerleading. The first ever Harry Potter event in Maastricht. And the Millinter Gallery. But first, let's head up to the Parkour of Arts and Science Festival, the opening event of the academic year. So if you were there in the beginning of September, you might have seen our reporters Mo and Bori exploring all the cool things the Pass Festival has to offer. Pleasure, art, and science. This is what Pass Festival is all about. Maastricht University opened its doors to everyone with a program that included a variety of short lectures, concerts, dance and theatre performances. In this short lecture, a non-invasive way of stimulating the brain was demonstrated. Generally, the lectures were intended to inform about the high-level research that is conducted by the university, but in an enjoyable and engaging atmosphere. The wedding chapel was not the only place with love in the air. Our reporter Bori also met the very charming Mr. Bright. Though, I think he was more interested in me. The combination of arts and science made the festival a unique experience and definitely worth visiting. The Pass Festival was entertaining, completely free and available for all of Maastricht so that students and locals could actually get together and have a good time. The two-day festival is the best way to start the new academic year and explore the city of Maastricht with its rich culture. So Tristan, did you know that Maastricht University has its own cheerleading team? Really? Do they cheer for a football team? No, they actually attend competitions and win prizes for Maastricht University. That's awesome! Yeah, right? So we sent Nathaniel and Kenny behind the scenes to check out one of the practice sessions. Tune in! Ready, 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 ready? I've got a serious face on. Hello, your name is? Hi, I'm Julia. What do you do in uh, this association as president? Well, I have a, I'm not alone. We have a board and yeah, we just go organize the competitions, organize fun parties and all those, those kind of things. So yeah, just to have an awesome time with all the team members. I also heard that you guys have like a family bond over here. So what do you guys do to create that bond? What makes you guys so close? Well, we train a lot. Of course, because yeah, we want to reach a certain level and that's not easy. So besides we go every Thursday, we go to Café Clinique. Then we have fun and party together and that's also bonding in another way. Like, have some party. <laughs> so I'm here with the team captain of the cheerleading team. Hi. What is your name? Ronia. And as a captain, what are your responsibilities? Keep up the good spirit, because it does get hard, people get injured, so we really want everyone to still keep like a positive mindset. What's the biggest misconception about cheerleading? Well, I think everyone thinks we're just a bunch of uh, American cheerleaders. It's not with the pom-poms and cheering for other teams, it's actually a competitive sport. What is the hardest part about cheerleading? You have to have the correct technique in everything. Like, 
a basic stunt you cannot do without actually taking your power from the legs. You cannot do anything with your arms. That's what guys do. <laughs> wrong. That is absolutely Hello? Hello? wrong. Proved over Hello? and over again. But you actually need to use your legs. So get your technique straight first. Don't skip leg day. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, so I hope that in this video you actually see that it's not the sport you normally perceive. It's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of power you need, explosive power. You see all the nice tricking, you see the stunts, and whoever is prejudices against cheerleading, can you hold a girl on one arm? I doubt it. So apparently they need more guys to join their cheerleading team. Are you interested? And lose my job here? You crazy? <laughs> So this next event is something I think all you Harry Potter fans will be very excited about. That's right, because guess what? Right here in Maastricht, there's the first ever Harry Potter event. There was magical food, potions, even Professor Snape and Dumbledore made an appearance. Hmm, I wonder if I can put a spell on the camera. Guardian Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Hey guys, my name is Nina. We're standing here tonight at the Harry Potter event in Maastricht in the Dominicano Church. I've been waiting for my Hogwarts setup for nine years. I hope this magical night will be the next best thing. of darkness you can always be happy if you just turn on the lights are you ready for the Harry Potter quiz and who's your favorite character within the novels this sounds maybe weird but Voldemort he has some in interesting history like his backstory you give the correct order of the Weasley children from young to old hmm nope <laughs> And we have Ginny first, then comes Ron, then uh, Frank George, Percy, Charlie and Bill. Damn, that's correct. It's Ginny, Ron, Frank George, Percy, Charlie and Bill. Uh, what's the house Luna Lovegood is in? Ravenclaw. Great. The house for? Luna Lovegood. Oh, that's a difficult question. Ravenclaw. Oh my god. Um, I think Gryffindor. Uh, Ravenclaw. Could you name all three Deadly Hallows? It's the hardest one. Um. The Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. That's great. That's all three. It's the medallion. One medallion. It's a ring, I think. Uh, it's a sword. And it's four, I think. Four, I don't know. Uh, who's the founder of Gryffindor? Godric Gryffindor, of course. Godric Gryffindor. She got all three right, guys. <laughs> Why did you organize a Harry Potter event? So the Harry Potter event was organized by the Young Adult Dome and the Dominicanon. The Young Adult Dome is a group of bloggers for Young Adult Books. And we had the Young Adult Week this week. And to top it off, we wanted to have a Harry Potter event to invite as many people here as possible and to let people know that we actually exist. But anyway, Harry Potter is one thing that brings everybody together. That's why we decided to do this fandom rather than another. And did it sell out? Well, the first 400 tickets sold out in about a week. And then we added 40 that were sold out in under a minute. I just got sorted into Ravenclaw. I had drinks with Snape and I had a serious conversation with Dumbledore. I had a magical night and I hope you had too. Thank you so much. Next up is the Millantor Galley. All the way from Hamburg, it's an art exhibition that combines contemporary art with water sanitation projects. And it operates together with Viva con Algo Nederland. So don't miss out on this one. <laughs> Hello, hello, this is Sophie Malin from Breaking Mass, and today we are at the Melanter Gallery Mastiff, which is organized in cooperation with Viva Con Aqua, and it's at the decor for break. Oh, 
Northern Agro was founded 2005 in Germany, in Hamburg, in St. Pauli. There's this amazing flag of the football club and it was founded by one of their players who discovered during a trip to Cuba where they were meant to train that water issues are really pressing all over the world and we are not really aware of that or most people are not actively aware of that. And so he quit his job, stopped playing football and founded Viva Con Agua. Sir, what is your name and what kind of art do you make? My name is Xava Kanika. Uh, the type of art that I make is fine arts directed photography. Um, basically what I do is I decontextualize objects and I try to emphasize the aesthetic of the object to the point where the object and the subject are not very relevant and it's just if it looks beautiful or not. Okay, so you are the curator. What is, um, what is your name and what is curating actually? I don't um, know. I'm Pia okay. and um, curating means it's the whole process. Uh, you work throughout the entire uh, setup of the gallery. So first, I'm actually working with another um, girl. We all did it together. So we selected artists first. Um, it's all about trying to figure out like what kind of mix you want to have. And then oftentimes you have some kind of theme. Um, you want to select stuff that goes together. And we just really wanted to have like this big, colorful mix of a lot of stuff. So you see photography, you see wall paintings and um, traditional paintings. If you're interested in what's happening in October, here are the events. If you're on the path to enlightenment and enjoy inspiring talks, TEDx Maastricht is for you. On October 13th, it'll be at the Mech. So for all you funky jazz lovers out there, on the 6th of October, we have the Jaeger Jazz Festival happening at the Tribunal Cafe in Maastricht. From the 5th to the 8th of October will be the Nederlands Dansdagen, a festival happening all around Maastricht with performances varying from urban to classical ballet, so keep an eye out. Well, that's all we have for you guys today, so thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. And if you can't wait another month to see these beautiful faces, we also have weekly videos on Monday. Breaking Monday. If you want to go even further, if you want to like us, we give you the tools. There's our Snapchat, there's our Facebook, there's our Instagram. Go like them. If you want to go even further, hit the subscribe button. And the like button. And the comment button. If you want to go even further for your community in Maastricht, guys, join the cheerleading team. They need men. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's it for this episode. So see you soon. Bye. Bye. So a man walked into a bar and, what's up guys? <laughs>